Hello there. One way that I really like to use Airtable is to make customizable project management systems. When I have a project that I want to keep track of all of my own day-to-day -day tasks, or if I'm working with someone who says I'm not really wanting a big robust system, I need something simple that just tells me what I need to do every day. So I can come into Airtable and set up a base that is just simple, the name of the items that I have to get done, the status of where that is, who's responsible, keep track of any notes while it's in progress, um, identify the date we want to start. And here I have links and attachments if I want to add anything as this gets completed. So all my information is in one place. But what I also have sometimes is I have weekly tasks that I can either manually update on that on the task list. So every Monday I'm going to write the things that I have to re repeat, or I could create the secondary list and then come in and check the boxes to say, hey, send this to the task list. But now what I really like is there is a feature that I can just come in here, add all of these to that master list by a set time so that it's doing it automatically every Monday morning. It goes and adds these weekly tasks to my list. So what I can do is come in here to automations. Um, start from a scratch here. So I'm going to add a trigger. And if you've never used this feature, basically this is a part of Airtable that allows you to create internal automations to make the process even easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say at a scheduled time, and I'm going to say that that is every seven days. Um, we'll say at 8 a.m. around there. That, and we'll start this next Monday. I'm going to test my trigger always to make sure that Airtable likes the data that I have. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the records that match a certain condition. So I want to come over to my weekly tasks. And I'm going to say anything that has a is checked as a weekly task that needs to reoccur. So repeat each week. If that is checked, then I want you to include it in this list. So I could always just go that one place if I need to add something new or if I want to take something off. I just have that weekly task. I could just uncheck that box or I could add something new to that list. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re use this repeat repeating group. And so I'm going to find... What I want to do is recreate a record from that repeating group. And that group is going to be, select this. Okay, so I have my list of records from this weekly. And I am going to come down here and say I want to put those on this task list. And what I want to add is the name of the task. So that's going to be from this current item list I'm selecting and I want the name. Next, I want to add the status. So we always want that to reflect that it is to do because that's where I start. I want to add the team member that's responsible because maybe in the future I'm going to add more people to this. Um, or I actually want to grab this from this list, right? So the dynamic is going to pull it in from another place. Um, static is I'm just going to type it in or select the standing one that I have that's going to repeat every time. But if I want to pull from what is on that table, then I'm going to use this dynamic one and responsible. So I'm going to pick their name. Um, and next, I want to make sure that I have the start date put in that to that field. So again, I need to find the dynamic one. I'm going to come here and I, what I want to select here is at that scheduled time. So if I'm scheduling it on Monday, I'm going to say that is the start date for that one. So we'll make that the actual trigger time. Um, now I'm going to generate a preview and run this test to make sure all my Airtable likes all of my data. And there you have it. So every Monday and seven days after that, we'll say that um, that updated dashboard will be the task and it is going to say to do, and there is my time. So it's giving me a generic time right here because it's not actually running because that day is in the future, but that's how it's going to look. So now I have that all set. I will just come up here and rename this as my weekly task add and turn this on and that's all set to go. So now I only have to really focus on anything I want to add to that list, and otherwise everything is going to go automatically every week and add to my list. 
you have any questions or you need anything, just drop it in the comments below or reach out to us at hello at prowessproject.com.